that you're all doing well. So we are out here right now in a uh, little snow shower that we have going on to do a car tour video. I am filming this on a different day than I filmed the actual tour part, so if you're wondering why you don't see snow in the rest of the video, that's why. But it is snowing quite a bit right now. But yeah, I asked you guys if you would want me to do another car tour video and you guys said yes. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't coming across as like like bragging or like arrogant because I did a car tour last year and I don't want you out here thinking that I get a car every year. Um, I was sadly in case you don't know, I was in an accident uh, in December. It was nothing bad, but it was just they didn't think that the car was worth fixing. So anyway, I was forced to uh, do the car thing all over again, shop for a car, test drives, all that. And I am finally, after like a month of that whole car nightmare, um, I am finally in my car. So. I will tell you what it is in a second when the car tour starts, but thank you guys for watching and I hope that you enjoy this video. Okay, so here she is. This is a 2018 Jeep Compass. It is in the limited trim. Um, it comes in limited latitude and Trailhawk. Uh, those are the trims that I know of, at least. Um, this is just me covering the license plate, although it was a temporary license plate uh, that came with the car until I go to the DMV, so I guess I didn't even really need to cover it, but whatever, just for security purposes. But this is, I call it army green, but if you want to go with the technical Jeep lingo, it's olive green that is the color, you know, that it says on the website, so that's what we'll go with. The really cool thing that I didn't even notice at first, it'll take you a second to see it, but there is a little gecko or lizard. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a Jeep thing. I've never owned a Jeep before, so if you have a Jeep, let me know if you have something like that. I need to name him, but I'll always have him there with me going in, you'll see it is all black interior. I normally don't like leather, but I actually, I like it in this car. I don't mind it. Um, so yeah, a white or beige roof and black seats and black rugs or mats. Inside, it has a touch to start button which is fairly convenient if I don't want to dig in my bag for my keys. Uh, please ignore the dust that you see there. I'm going to clean it later in the video, as you'll see. Um, and yes, I have to put washer fluid in it. It's fine. Um, so here's the steering wheel. It's got a bunch of buttons. Uh, controls my phone, the radio, cruise control, and in the back I have volume controls as well. Um, so with a 4x4, four four, you'll see that little knob there. I have four different modes. Auto, which it'll be in 98% of the time. Snow, sand, and mud, which is really cool. So if I put it on snow mode, for example, you'll see up on the dash, it'll turn to snow mode, which is kind of like all-wheel drive, but a 4x4 four four is a little bit different. And then I'll put it back in auto, and boom, it's back in auto. So I'm really excited to try that out. Um, I have to take Windex to this whole little entertainment center, so excuse those smudges that you see. Um, so I can control the heated seats, heated steering wheel, which that is all new to me. I have never had that before. Um, and these buttons down here also control the climate as well, so I can choose whether I want to do this, the touch screen or the buttons. But while driving, I think buttons are safer because sometimes touch screens can be hard. The newest thing for me is I have Apple CarPlay now, which is 
essentially puts your phone up on the screen there. If you're driving, it won't actually let you read text messages or anything. It'll read it to you um, just for safety purposes, um, but it'll tell you, like, it'll give you a notification. So and so is texted you. My Spotify's there, all my playlists. I'm like obsessed, obsessed. My car clip's the same as um, my clip from my other car to hold my phone. Uh, I mean, pretty self explanatory here. The wipers. Over here, I have my light controls. So, to put the parking lights on, the regular lights, the fog lights, high beams, brightness, things like that. Um, these control my side mirrors so that I can see my windows, childproof locks, and then locks for the doors. Uh, the cool thing about this car is that as soon as I start driving away, it automatically locks. Um, I have some sanitizing wipes for when I get gas. I like to wipe my hands off afterwards. And I really like this beige or tan stitching. I think that's a nice touch. Glove compartment is pretty much the same as my old car. Uh, or exactly the same, really. In this pouch, I have my um, Bath & Body Works car air freshener packet thingies. Um, so when they run out, I have a bunch and I can just pop a new one in. Napkins, because you know what? You never know when you're going to need a napkin. And I have the manual, which <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I probably won't read, but it's good to have it just in case, God forbid, something like really goes wrong. So have that in there. That always comes with the car. And if those napkins are bothering you, don't worry. They bothered me too. I fixed them. Don't worry. Um, it was very hard to film this video with one hand. This is my temporary tag for the front, like temporary license plate for the front of the car. My emergency brake, which I use if I park on a hill. Um, that button on the left controls whether the car turns off when I'm at a stop or not. Uh, car holders in the middle. This is kind of the same as my old car too, if you remember. I have my backup sunglasses that I don't really like too much because they don't fit my face very well. My duster. My dad got this for me in my very first car ever when I was a senior in high school. And I still have it and I still use it and I still occasionally dust my car because it bothers me if I see dust and like little things everywhere. Especially with black interior, it's very easy to see. So I'm definitely going to be using that quite a bit. So just roll that up and tuck that back in there. And in the door, I have that Bath & Body Works air freshener holder. And this one's broken. I need to get a new one. You're supposed to, it's supposed to have a clip there. And it's supposed to go into the air vent, but I lost the clip. So for now, I can still kind of smell it from there. My sunglasses. Um, those are not new. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen those before as well. Those just kind of stay in the door until I can find a better place for them. Overhead lights in case I need to look for something. And then I'm just going to start pushing every button because I'm still trying to learn what does what. But those weren't actually buttons. And then I have my mirror, which I never really use this mirror. I don't know. Do people actually use that mirror? I'm sure they do, but I really don't. And I'm starting to notice that if you own a Jeep, it literally says Jeep everywhere. The mirrors, the seats. <laughs> I just think it's funny. Um, so in the back, got some compartments in the back of the chairs. Air vents, which would be nice for family and friends if and when they're in the back. There is an actual outlet plug, which I think is really cool, and another USB. I gotta clean all this. I gotta, like, scrub it down a little bit because I'm seeing smudges everywhere. But it's fine. I'll do it. We have that same tan stitching and a armrest slash cup rest slash even has a little spot for your phone there in the middle. Um, so that will be cool as well. With the pandemic this last year, I don't really have people in my car ever. Probably only one person in the front, so... But I'm sure there will come a day when I can have friends with me again. Um, and here's the trunk. So this car is definitely bigger than my HR 
RV was. Not by much, but it definitely is bigger. Definitely has a bigger trunk, which is cool. More space. Um, it has another 